We were so excited uh, after having the 21-year uh, Balvany uh, single malt port, port pipe, port pipe yep. aged uh, scotch. We were so excited about that. Uh, we kind of went on a uh, <laughs> Balvany like tangent of Balvany run, right. and uh, we started buying several of their of their things, and it's right. turned into birthday gifts. Uh, we gave one to, uh, or I should say, I gave one to my. Uh, like I said, uh, our other brother, uh, there was a 12 year and that one was in sherry barrels. Sherry, right. Uh, it was a 12 year single, single malt as well in sherry barrels. And then for my birthday, uh, I received a bottle as well. And that's the one we're going to podcast on. What that do you think correct. about that? I think that sounds great. Oh, that sounds excellent. So we've got a 14 year scotch for this. Give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the Balvany Caribbean Cask 14 year scotch. Yep. Sing- single malt, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's another single malt. Uh, this is kind of this, uh, I don't know, he's got like a barrel, like a wood age series or like different kind of finishes that uh, I forget the guys, uh, I forget the gentleman's name. David about, Stewart. David Stewart. Thank you. Like I don't said, know he, where I pulled that one from. <laughs> I don't either, but that's great you did, though. Um, so, yeah, he's uh, done this, like I said, with a few different ones. Um, like I said, they have a 12-year that's in sherry. This one is in the Caribbean cast. So it was formerly had rum contained in them, so right. these were rum barrels. Uh, and then the 21-year that we actually did for our uh, Thank You podcast uh, around the beginning of the year, uh, that one was in uh, the port pipes, as, right. we, as we just talked about. It's been so, around for 40 years or so. Yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah, those had actually been around for quite a while. This one, they don't really say. But uh, so we were interested. This is the one we actually wound up trying third. Um, this is the third one that we've uh, right. tried. Because we initially thought maybe the rum might be too sweet. So we're going to find out uh, how that how that plays out. That was our most... That was the reason we didn't try this one right, right away. Right, because we're not huge fans of rum overall. Yeah, no, I think it, it's it's good and it has its place. I think right. we've even done uh, some podcasts on it. For, Back in the day. For gosh sakes, we've even done some podcasting Golly on it. Golly gee willikers. <laughs> gee willikers, we've done that. Uh, we could do more on that, though. Like, I, I feel we could like, revisit. Yeah, that might be worth revisiting. But, okay. uh, but anyway, to the uh, beverage at hand, uh, well... The it beverage would, in someone's hand. It's it, not in our hands. Yeah, it's, it's kind of... somebody's hands, and it's, uh, or at least it's by his... Ah, dang it. Didn't do a good job with that one either. I was, overcompensated. You did. The last one was a little close, but you know, one. you've got one of the more difficult jobs because, like, you're we don't you're, have a you're mark doing it completely there. blind. We don't have a mark, <laughs> uh, all that kind of was, stuff. But uh, I was on a good run there for a while. It was amazing, honestly. So, it was a little too good to be true. Yeah, kind of like the uh, Houston Astros. It was a little too good to be true because they were actually cheating. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's it's good when you don't suspend any of the players, but all the managers and things, and and do that kind of stuff. But wow, we're going on a baseball. Oh my rant. God! I had a baseball rant ready. Ready. Hope springs eternal for this year again. Um, so, yeah, we uh, always let uh, Phil take a look at our uh, beverage that we have. He's inspecting it. If he doesn't say anything, we know we should try it. And okay, he's, he's thanks, done Phil. it. Cool. Yep. All right. Cool. We got his approval again. We're going to give this a try. Um, so, spoiler alert. This is not full, I'm guessing. Yeah, no, it's I know. Not it's not full. Not. We tried. Spoiler uh, alert. Because we actually it's not we had a little like impromptu sort of. Uh, taste of the three that we have right at uh, we did okay. yes uh yes at the uh, birthday I festivities I like that we actually uh tried the 21 the 12 and this 14 okay. uh and we did some analyzing that day like i said it's yeah. always a little different once we get in the tasting room just uh, you and i here yeah. so uh that was kind of the plan let's uh, let's let's try this and really get into it um all right are all you right. ready i'm, I'm gonna ready. pour yeah, let's do all it. right so now normally when I pour for you, I usually go right to the top. I was going to do a little less because we're just tasting. Please, Is that okay? Just, okay. I didn't want to, you know, I don't, I don't want to offend you by pouring, I don't think it's me by pouring a smaller it. amount. So, okay. I just want to make, uh, make sure yeah. that we're just doing the right amount there. I don't want right. to, don't want to overdo it. The right stuff. Yeah. The right oh, stuff. Exactly. Oh. We're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. All right. And I'm going to, I'm going to move the bottle, but yeah, you can see that uh, we have uh, had partaken. Yes, it has some been of partook this one. of. It, it, it has been partooken. Uh, similar honey color to most of the Balvenies yeah. that we had. Maybe a little darker. Yeah, maybe a little bit. And Just that would a little make touch sense darker coming from a, a, out of a rum barrel. So yeah, you would think you might get a little more of that. It. Yeah. Yeah. The the great Glen Cairn glasses. That's right. I love these things. I think I breathed in just a little too deeply there. Okay. Yeah, I think but this one's just right around like 90-ish proof. I don't think okay. it's uh, it's too hot overall. But anytime you have a spirit going on, yeah. it can kind of hit you a little bit. Yeah. Um, I get, actually, I get a little, I do get some sweet 
which I'm not surprised about. And I get a little caramel, actually. It's like some some of that kind of nutty and a, and a touch of fruit. Yeah, it's not quite hitting, like, I, I think, like, molasses territory. That's why no. I think, like, the caramel really plays into it. Um, and, yeah, I get a little bit of fruit. And definitely the peaty, like, uh, kind of natural just sea spray kind of scotch that you would get uh, hits in there as well. Yeah. But it's a really nice balance of all those things. I, I think now that I take another s- sniff, I think probably the, <laughs> it leads with scotch. I know that sounds like kind of <laughs> like – I mean, it, it, like it sounds weird, like, but – those aromas that most people think of with scotch, that's what it leads they with. They should but be I don't there. Th- but I don't think they're overwhelming. Right. Right. And they should be there. They should be. I mean, right. Yeah. Yeah. Like I so said, there's a little bit of peat. There's a little bit of that sea spray, that like kind of, you know, salt yeah. water kind of thing going on. Yeah. Uh, and But yeah. But then definitely brine. but definitely the caramel and, and some other little nuttiness in there as well. But yeah. no, it's it smells great. I'm looking forward to sipping this. Okay. Can we Can we do that? Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Start that again. Sorry, because I was going to reference our three time tasting, and I shouldn't do that. So okay, we Maybe can't we can at the end. Like I say, okay. once we're done with the whole podcast, okay. maybe we can go back into that. All right, let's because it might just again. turn into very long if we start talking about that. There's some nice spice going on in there. Yeah, that's on what kind of hit front me. of the tongue. Yeah, it's a very and I on the tippy tip. Yeah, right. And there's a lot of it's very lively with that spiciness. There's a there's there is a nice uh, not cinnamon maybe, but there's some sort of almost almost a cinnamon sugar. There's a sweet going on back there too, um, along with I like you said the inherent scotchness of it. Yeah. But, um, but I really like that spice that's going on actually. At the back too, I'm getting a little bit too. That's almost peppery. Like there's almost something there that's like pepper flake. Like it's like that kind of like a heat. Like I'm spice, more like sweet spicy though. Okay, I'm getting more of like that kind of spice. Like okay. I said, I get more of uh, like smooth. Uh, again, that caramel kind of like middle of my tongue. Yeah. Um, there's like definitely that. And like I said, the peatiness is in there as well, which is nicely balanced in there. It's you know a little more at the forefront, but it's it's balanced in there pretty nicely. And yeah, a little spice at the front. That's where I'm getting more of that kind of spice. And yeah. then, like I said, there is like another. Like I said, more of like a spice heat, like a cayenne pepper kind of thing, where it's not like overly strong, but it's that kind of a, a lighter, uh, lighter note in yeah. there. Yeah. But no, I like this one like a lot. Like I said, I think it. Like I said, I think it's you know pretty smooth. Um, like I don't know if we mentioned it at the top, but like I said, it's right around seventy five dollars uh, for like I said for the bottle, um, which compared to the other Balvenies is kind of it's on the little bit of the lower end. Like I said, their lowest one is right right around fifty, then seventy five. Then they have a 15 year that's I think 100 and change, and then the one we had the 21 year is like 250. And, the and two, then they do have an even higher one up from there, but that's not the, the 12 year though was what 60, right? 55 or 55 60, or 60. Depending, okay. yeah, yeah, depending on where you get it. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what we were talking. Yeah, the 12 year is like around 55. So it's kind of like I said, they have a nice range of things if you want to try some of their stuff. Um, I think they're very consistent throughout all of those. Um, do you just remember with different profiles? What's the, the different profile? Time, the th- no, the three time tastings. That the three time. I was trying to remember. So, which one of the three? Do you remember which one you liked best in the blind tasting that we did? Well, well I guess it wasn't a blind tasting because you were. The it one wasn't. Who, yeah, who, I actually you, knew you, what it was. You had to do it. Okay. Yeah, like I said, toward the end, like I said, the short version is like I said, we actually have tried the twelve, the fourteen, and the twenty-one, okay. and we tried them all side by side. Some people got a little bit of, uh, like I said, it was. Some some for some people it was a blind tasting. Like I said, I had put it together, so I kind of so knew which could, ones yeah. were which. Yeah. Um, but I think most people actually picked this one. This one seemed to be the okay. favorite because it was a little bit smoother. I think it usually went this one, then the twenty one, and then the twelve. Okay. I think you were like, I think you were right in order. I think you went. Uh, I, like I think you. I think you went the twelve, fourteen, and then the twenty. I think you oh, almost okay. went right in order. Okay. Like you kind of went up, but like yeah, everyone kind of had either this one or the twenty one. Okay. Uh, was kind of back and forth. And it just kind of, and again, there's a base flavor profile that goes across all of them. And then it was kind of like what finishing adjustment. And then, you know, as, as uh, scotches or bourbons or whiskey, any kind of whiskey, like I said, as it ages, it's going to start smoothing out. So like, as you got toward the 21, you got even a little bit more of a smoother, like, I don't remember the spice being at the back end of that one. No, um, because, but the, it was a little bit thinner profile because it was just like I said, those port barrels, like I said, I don't think did quite as much and as the, this rum, which I think brings out a little more viscosity. And the 21 just had that, 
lingering finish. Yeah, that was Whereas what this kind of hits you right at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's kind of done right now. Right. Like I said, it, it was good. But like I said, yeah, that was the thing about the 21. If you go back and watch that video when we had that one. And I think you and I both said, we're like, if someone ever asked me what a lingering fit, like that to me was the definition right of a lingering fit. There was yep. all these different layers, all these different things. Yep. Uh, and it was it was really quite, quite fantastic. Quite, quite. It was. <laughs> uh, and hopefully you find, uh, even if not quite fantastic, just like pretty good. Mildly uh, good. Mildly good. You pretty can go to our website at yes. aboutbeverages.com and check out uh, all of our latest podcasts, videos. All that stuff can be found there. And uh uh, and even uh, another place in addition to that, if you just want the videos, just like, just videos, like nothing else. I want to see nothing else but your videos. No other like, oh, that graphic is pretty. Or, oh, hey, look at that, you <laughs> that know, poll that I quiz that I could answer. Yeah. You know, if you don't want any of that stuff, just want the videos. Just want, you know, the, the straight the straight dope right there. <laughs> wow, that sounded old. Uh, if you want any of that stuff, go to YouTube. You can subscribe there and uh, watch us in the video format. But right. if video is too much be it because of your internet connection or you just don't want to see these two guys, you just want to hear us. Uh, there's some audio things people can do. Right? There are audio things you can do. The newest one being Spotify. We are uh, available on Spotify uh, to um, the just your basic uh, no pay. Uh, That's correct. Yeah, we are so. completely free on Spotify. No okay. no premium stuff there. And, uh, and then also iTunes and pretty much uh, so far wherever podcasts can be found, uh, Google Podcasts and, um, and like I said, yeah, like iTunes and we are there. We are there. And then uh, finally, if you want even more that you're like, man, these guys are great. Can I follow them anywhere else? Can I, you know, make sure I'm getting all of the information possible? Guess what? There's three more places. Uh, if we're going to shameless plug it away, uh, there's three more are. places we can uh, we can do our three pillars of social media. They would be Facebook, Instagram, and the one we use the most often, Twitter. Twitter. That is the uh, one where you can always find out when we're going live. On a place just like this, twitch.tv slash about beverages, most Thursday nights at around uh, 530 Pacific. That is when you can uh, find us doing all sorts of tastings, and then you can uh, interact with us, let us know what you've been having lately, what we should be trying, and all of that type of stuff. Sound good? That sounds good. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs>